morning, India. Good evening, US. We are doing Nirvapana. And Nirvapana means uh, scattering sowing in Sanskrit, which is an ancient Indian language. So it all started in last September when we had an infraction with the Farmers Club in Kutunad, which is an Arab district of Kerala. So the farmers were telling us about the different problems they face in agriculture. There were problems like the harvesting problems, the problems with uh, the sowing. And uh, the problem we were interested in was the sowing problem. And we can see the, the problem statement, which is in Kerala, uh, it is a, only one by fifth of uh, the requirement of the rice is produced in, in the state. And one of the reasons for this is the, the labor shortage. And also, the current method of sowing used is very inefficient. It results in losses of about a lot of seeds. And there is, uh, it is very labor intensive. And also, it requires a transplantation phase, which is you sow the seeds first, then after some time, after a month, you, after some time you, you are pull the seeds, pull those healthy plants, and then you plant it again. So it again saves, uh, it again results in losses of time and money. And uh, we can see the mission statement in the next slide, which is to develop and market a device which will help the farmers to sow the seeds uniformly and efficiently. And moving to the next slide, we can see the feasibility, which is we would like to develop a device which can help, say, uh, which can help the farmers to save about 30 to 35 kilograms of seeds. And considering that there is about 60,000 acres of uh, paddy fields in Kutunad, this will result in a huge amount of uh, saving in money for the farmers. And we have also added a leveling plate on our device so that leveling will be done before sowing crops. So the sowing is done. So leveling is something that is not commonly done today because, uh, the, the, because of the labor shortage. So we will we think that uh, the, the device will be very useful for the farmers. So next we can see the, the preliminary design. Um, so this was our preliminary design uh, that we came up with uh, in the previous term. And what we decided on going with was uh, the use of a tray with um, holes at the ideal spacings. This was a mock-up design, so the holes weren't at the ideal spacings. These were at approximately a couple inches apart. Um, the ideal spacing is uh, of planting rice seeds is actually six inches. So what we did here was to use um, a top tray which would um, hold the seeds with uh, countersunk holes so that the seeds would fall through um, the holes. And we would use have a slider with the same uh, <clears throat> with the same uh, hole arrangement as the top tray. So when the pull, when the handle, as you can see there, was pulled, the holes would become a line and the seeds would fall through. Um, but this design that we used, we try to uh, make it float on the water because usually the, when the farmers plant the seeds, plant, uh, plant their seeds, they flood their fields. So we thought, oh, why don't we just use um, a, float, a floating mechanism so that we can reduce the resistance and um, doesn't require much strength for uh, an individual farmer to pull. But uh, the, we used an a, we used something called an ABS plastic for the pontoons, but unfortunately it was really heavy. Uh, the pontoon itself weighed nearly five kilograms, and it was too heavy to sustain a device um, just on its own. And we would, and this wasn't including the five kilograms of rice seeds we were planning on putting on there. Um, so for our iteration, we mainly iterated on mobility, making it uh, a more useful and easier for to move across the uh, move across the paddy fields. And we, as you can see on the picture, that we tried using um, foam noodles, and these are just uh, pieces of uh, long pieces of foam uh, that float in the water. And people usually use it to uh, pull them to float. And we tried, we tried that and tested that at the Milliken Pond, and we found out that it worked, worked really, really well. But the main issue with that was that it would drift. Um, it would drift depending on how the current of the water was. So this wasn't, this would defeat the entire purpose of having these fully spaced uh, holes because we would, if the, after you planted the seeds and it would drift off, it would the next set of like the next set of uh, planted seeds would be misaligned and not at the ideal spacing. So we iterated on using both a combination of wheels and sleds. And as you can see on the bottom picture, the wheels are on the outside. And this is to provide a more uh, accurate way of essentially cutting through the paddy fields. It would keep the, when, when it would keep the uh, entire prototype aligned. But since the paddy fields are very, very soft, we would have, the wheels would also sink. So we attached 
we decided to attach uh, sled so that it would distribute the load more evenly. Um, and the specialized wheels we work extensively with the Agricultural um, Institute in Kerala, and they were all, they were very instrumental in helping us coming up with uh, a wheel design that they were currently using. So we adapted this to our prototype. Um, we laser cut them on in the machine shop in uh, of Bali. And as for the top, as for the top trays, we realized that the whole the seeds wouldn't fall into the holes on, on their own. So we decided to use come up with um, some, uh, some funneling mechanism to allow gravity to just push the seeds into the holes. So what we did was we set up, we cut out, cut out uh, pyramid shaped pieces using foam core. And thanks to Elaine at Art Center, we, he was able to make these uh, make these uh, plastic uh, molds for us. And we would cut holes in, in the in the in the center so that you, the seeds would be able to fall through. And we also designed a pulley mechanism so that uh, so that when you pulled on the handle, the, it would pull it would pull the sliders and align it align the holes to get, align the holes to let the seeds fall out. And once you let go of the handle, the we would ask springs to move it back into misalignment so that the seeds would uh, stop falling out. Uh, so this is the final prototype that India side made. So as you can see, they used the uh, three trays uh, as you have seen the final model. Also, we have a bicycle wheels and with a rod. So they tested it out with a real right stick. And then it was really amazing that they had the equally spacing so that uh, it's an ideal spacing six inch. So uh, it was good testing and we hope that yeah, we can have more mechanism and we will have uh, left that as a future work. So final design for US side, uh, I assume that you guys have seen the big uh, yeah, device in the poster presentation. And then we have a main same concept. We have a three trays with a sliding plate uh, connect to the pulley mechanism. And we also have uh, uh, two wheels. As Chan said, we had a, a laser cut, and it will just help the device to go straight. And so it was a lot better from the previous design that we had a pontoon design, because now we have a sled plus wheel, so it doesn't sink anymore, but also it can, it can go through. Um, also, we uh, plan to attach some field level, and um, we have some time issues, so we couldn't finish that, but we are hoping to yeah, finish the next picture. So this is the uh, picture for the pro prototype in the US. So we actually haven't had the opportunity to test it out in the real field, but you can see that the seeds are all equally spaced six inches, and there was uh, some issue with the aligning force because uh, some seeds are bigger or some seeds are smaller. So when it drops, it might like twist a little bit. But uh, we have a like uh, uh, dimension-wise, we have a equal spacing. And also, uh, you see that pulley mechanism used a, a long string. So when you uh, pull the bar, it has uh, two pairs of spring. So it will actually flip and back and forth, and it will release the uh, either the Handlebar will pull the string, and string is attached to the bottom plate. So if the plate will slide, and then there is another pair of spring there, so it will just uh, flip back to the original position. So holes are all like that, the seats will drop. So uh, next is regarding the manufacturing. So we are planning to manufacture with the uh, Braco, uh, which is known as uh, Regional Agro Industrial Development Cooperative of Kerala Limited. Uh, they are the organization under the Kerala government, and they are, uh, made, their main uh, functioning is like uh, they are developing agricultural implements and agriculture tools for the farmers. So uh, they have about uh, 34 offices across Kerala, and we have talked with uh, the cotton region office, and here yeah, that particular person in Kotec is uh, uh, convinced with our design. So what uh, is reminding us now is uh, we just want to convince the managing director of Redco uh, in the head office. So we hope that it will be easier if the Nabad approves our design. Uh, next is regarding the funding and distribution. So this is something really important because uh, NABAR, uh, which is known as the National Bank for Agriculture and Rural Development, is an apex uh, bank of India, under uh, the government of India, uh, which uh, provides credit facility and funds to, uh, for uh, agriculture, I mean, especially the farmers and uh, for the rural development. So uh, CHAS, which is known as Agnashiri Social Service Society, is uh, one of powerful organization, NGO, 
and we have been in uh, contact with them continuously for the past eight months. So uh, what uh, through Charles we have contacted with the NABARD and uh, what NABARD officials said us that we want to prepare a report that uh, it's a project report uh, starting from the scope of the project including all the materials that we used for the product and any, uh, everything that we have used. And uh, after the project uh, project report we have submitted to the NABARD, they will provide the sufficient funds that needed for us. Next, uh, uh, next is regarding our uh, distribution, especially the marketing side. So again, uh, Charles have a good number of farmers club uh, in Kutanad region. So we are planning to have uh, distribute the product uh, through Charles and uh, after the finishing of the product, we will be distributed using them. Thank you. So um, we ran into some challenges this term. As we were heavily into prototyping this term, um, we had some trouble finding the right materials, um, especially on the Indian side as they didn't have access to you know, a machine shop that we're lucky enough to have here. Um, we also had some issues staying on schedule, again, because we're so heavily invested in prototyping. Um, our initial schedule, which featured two iterations, was a little bit too ambitious. Um, and we also had a little bit of uh, miscommunication and some meetings that were delayed so that we couldn't get the vital information we needed to make the proper prototype. Um, and this, this um, delay in um, receiving the information that we needed also um, promoted us to, or prompted us to change our design kind of way. So you can see that our fully mechanism has gone through several iterations, but it's not complete yet. And finally, this is a little bit unusual, but um, we ran into some potential copyright problems <laughs> that are being solved. They're, they're being solved, and um, hopefully we won't have any more of that. Um, our product currently does not work as intended because of the fully mechanism and because of these delays. But, um, you know, this is a learning process, and um, we're really lucky to have that so far. So, for um, our future work, uh, we'll test the prototypes in the actual environment, and we will also analyze the performance. Um, we will also add the bike braking mechanism for the pulley handles, so that it will be easier for um, people to use, because the current handle is kind of just a little rod that you have to push through. So we just want to make it comfortable first. And um, we'll submit our project report to Navarre within three weeks. And again, um, this will aid in getting us funding and you know, getting us in touch with other manufacturers. Um, we'll maintain close contact with the Farmers Club, who have already been very helpful in providing us with a lot of feedback. And we'll contact Redco for manufacturing after the submitted um, report. So in conclusion, um, we've had a very solid start to the patient industry to our device, and although um, <coughs> us three, or us four, uh, or fourth team in this, unfortunately not here today, um, will not continue with the project, BJ and Chris will carry it on, and on with the detailed documentation in the report, um, we're sure that it'll be very um, easy for them to get new partners um, and also get um, contacts in industry and continue developing the device. Um, Finally, we would like to thank all of these amazing people um, on the left side. We would like to thank everybody involved with the class um, for helping us uh, develop a prototype and just teaching us about the general business process. Um, we would also like to thank many people that we've talked to um, in India, um, the Agricultural Research Center in Chad, all the farmers um, for just helping us get more feedback on the comfort and ease of using as well as uh, many of the iteration of the project ideas. Thank you.